там не сидит. Hey guys. Okay. Um, I just got my hair cut done. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have a video on that. But we just grabbed some food. It's about five o'clock. We went to. Oh no, Hawaiian. Haven't had Hawaiian in a while. These are all the potentials. Oh yeah, what'd you get? I got grilled mahi mahi with uh, Ooh, rice, mac salad, and veggie. Mac sauce for Yeah, it's teriyaki and stuff. <laughs> I'll just move mine here. So I got something very small. I feel usually this would be like switched, but if I was eating meat. Mm. Yeah, so I got two scoops of mac because I love Hawaiian mac. And I also got uh, an order of the spam musubi. It's just spam, it's not focusing. Spam is or spam musubi is just rice, spam, and seaweed. Wrapped for it's wrapped in seaweed. Hmm. I thought I I ordered a side of chicken. I didn't know. No, I did. Barbecue chicken. Gotta check the receipt. Yeah, I ordered some chicken. It's fine if they Yeah, but if you paid for it, then you should it. Yeah, Spam Musubi, Hawaiian Sun. Those are the two drinks. Macaroni and... Yeah, I... Yeah. I ordered it, or I told her. I guess she didn't hear me, or she just didn't. Okay, that's cool. As long as I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Alright. You, you can have one of the fillets for the salmon. No, I'm good. I've just been realizing, like, I keep eating because I know I need to eat instead of eating because I'm, not, like, hungry. Yeah, just to, like, you know. So I end up eating and then I end up, like, feeling really bad afterwards because I ate too much, I guess, maybe. Or maybe it's what you're eating. Maybe that, too, but also <laughs> at the same time, I think I do eat more than I need to. Especially when, like, they make food for me. If I don't finish it, I feel bad. You know, Asians are just weird about that kind of stuff. Oh, we both got Hawaiian drinks. Love them. Where'd you put your drink? It's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you help me find it out? How's the mahi? It's good. We're parked in the underground parking lot right now. Of a Target. Of a Target, yeah. We gotta go into Target in a little bit. And grab some stuff. Even though we would like, live in this area, or I have lived in this area for like ish, three ish years, I feel like I've like this year since I moved back from Berkeley is like the time I've spent the most like exploring other parts of SGB. You've explored more oh look at mm -hmm. don't don't spill. You've explored more than I have then. Cause I still don't like when Gogo asked me like, oh where in Rose Rosemead? I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Or like I think the other day we drove by like a big park, remember? Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? Yeah, no, I was too, but I went there with um, Kelly and Adam. Like, a couple of months ago. Macaroni salad. This is, this is, the macaroni salad is the reason why I, when I saw the Hawaiian sign, I was like, oh my gosh, I want their mac. This is why we went there. <laughs> it's not their mac salad specifically. It's just, just, yeah, like the Hawaiian salad. mac salad. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they put in it. I don't know why. And if it is mayonnaise that I put in there, which I hate, I still am like okay with it. Mm, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. 
It's one of those things that I feel like I don't like it, but I can still take another bite, but I don't think I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you, girl. You can have my max salad. I don't even think I'm going to finish this. Because I almost got the four scoop, and I was like, no, I think two scoops going to be fine. You can save it for tomorrow, though, for snack. Yeah. This thing holds up well. True. Oh well, tomorrow we have my session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's early, time. so then you can have this for dinner, later. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've been eating dinner once we get home, huh? Because we eat so late. I'm gonna eat really late. After chemo? By the time we do get home, I, I don't. I don't know what you do. No, I don't think so. I don't think so because I'm like too like tired. Or... Well, the last time. I think like we ate, you came home, you chilled, and then I think I I heated up some of your leftovers. Yeah, know. I don't remember. I think maybe each time is different depending on what time we actually get home and what time we actually eat. Did you say she was making dumplings all home? Tonight, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's already five something. If, if we're not home now, I'm pretty sure she's like, okay, we're not going to make her food. Wow, it's already five something. We took our time in Ulta. There was like yeah, hardly anybody really there, either. actually. Yeah, I got my hair cut at Ulta today. And so we haven't been to like a makeup place in a while. So we were like, ooh, let's take a look at like skincare and stuff that's maybe new or stuff that we haven't seen before. And so, yeah. Yeah, so I guess maybe Ulta opened up earlier, but she said that the salon se section was only open like three, four weeks. Three, four weeks ago. Wow, well, it's really interesting. At Ulta, we were looking at all the makeup and stuff, and because of social distancing and quarantine and what's going on in the world right now, yeah. all their samplers had like tape or a partition over it, so you can still see the color, and you can still like see what the compact looks like, but you can't touch the makeup. So there's no like trying on or anything like that. Which is smart. Makes sense. You know, because not everybody's just gonna remember just to swatch on their hand. And you said that they've only been open for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know about Ulta themselves. But the hair cutting part? But the salon part, yeah. She said it was only, they've only been back like three, four weeks. I feel like I haven't eaten sriracha in so long. Is sriracha like vinegary? No, to me it's more um, like garlicky, which is why I feel like we can't eat it with mm -hmm. anything, only certain things. Mm. I think I'm gonna eat the other half for dinner later. Yeah, because you're probably eating another four hours. I probably won't. I'm already getting full. It's just weird because I always have like this pain right here and it always feels like it kind of feels like when you eat too much and you just feel like you have something lodged in the middle of your, you know, mm -hmm. and I have that feeling a lot and I'm wondering if it's because of the blockage that I just have that sensation, but I always have it and then now because of like the chemo and the bloating and stuff like that and the gas and, and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like just when I start to feel better, I eat and then it just packs it on again and I feel worse again. I think it's safe to say that that, that feeling that you've always had in that area is tied to it because that, that area what? is tied to the growth. Yeah. Right because you always are pointing to the same area, even before you found out about all this, you pointing to the same area that you had the pain and all this stuff. And the discomfort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, like thinking about it now, like when it, when, Six years ago, when I was like free and clear health-wise, mm -hmm. and I started having the discomfort, it was a different pain than now. Well, now that was it's an like too before. No, like mm -hmm. after after everything healed up and everything, I was still having issues here, and it was painful, but it was like different pain. Like it was just tight. Mm -hmm. Like now it's uncomfortable. Before it was just like, oh my god, I have this like stabbing pain right there. Now it's just like, it's just pain and uncomfortable. Like there is something in the way. 
So maybe you're right. Maybe I am feeling, I don't know. I don't know. Because back then, what they did to me, like, I know exactly where my stomach and my liver and everything is because I had to feel every single <laughs> area and organ that they poke through, so. No. And it probably has a lot to do with the fact that I'm probably eating a lot more carbs than I ever have. That's why I've been gaining weight, man. If you don't do, like, vegetarianism right, I think you're gonna weigh. I think that's why I gained a lot of weight in the beginning too. Like at BCC, there was a point where I felt like I was at my head. It was like right before I met Francesco, honestly. Yeah. Are you raving to the horn? Yeah, we're jamming to the alarm. This is so good. This kind of hits the spot. Well, you have another scoop. <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish this today. <sighs> I want another bite, but just kidding. No bite coming here. What? I was gonna say no. Another one on the other yeah, side. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> My bitch, no. Oh my god, I have that stupid Carol Baskin song stuck in my head right now. I don't even know why. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. <laughs> do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? She got crazy eyes. <laughs> Can't believe she was with Dancing with the Stars. Like, what? You know that? Okay, so you, yeah, so she was on Dancing with the Stars, and then while she's like, on the show, they aired a commercial with the ex-husband's family saying that they're reopening the case and they're investigating Carol Baskin. Like oh yeah, stuff. a lot of people. Like, <laughs> after after that whole documentary series came out, oh my gosh, yeah, I feel like I've like that's all I've been hearing is that the family's gonna reopen it and because it no, got but, so much public no, press. But the point is like right, like she's on TV and then I think that they knew like the network was like yeah, okay, cool, we have Carol Baskin on our show now. Let's get this other commercial that's going against Kerbaskin because views, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But it just seemed like it was very strategic that they planned that all out, you know? Did you watch any of it or did you see any of it? Dancing with the... Yeah. Stuff? No. I don't have cable at my house, just so you guys know, so I have no idea. No one has cable. <laughs> True. Who has cable? Uh, Stab Musubi. No? Doesn't want to focus? Focus. Focus. Exactly. I put my arm up too. Let's do the makeup thing. Let's focus it. Let's do the makeup thing. It doesn't want to focus. Because. No? I don't know. I think... No? No? <laughs> <laughs> it's the makeup thing. We gotta like. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Oh, it's focusing on. Oh, something. right here. Oh, there you go. yeah. What is that? So it's spam. I think it's like a little bit of teriyaki sauce yeah. and rice. And then it's wrapped in seaweed. See, I can handle the teriyaki sauce in this. Yeah, because it's just enough to like stick everything together. Wow. I think the seaweed and the spam are also overpowered too. Again, spam with seaweed is one of the few things that I miss. This is not hitting the spot. For the teriyaki? I don't know. Salty? Yeah, I think so. Carol Baskin? No. Hell no. She would never hit any spot. <laughs> Well, she. <laughs> wow. That got weird real fast. No, it wasn't dirty or anything. I mean, she's not going to hit any spots. Well, I mean, she literally killed her husband. Like a hitman? Allegedly. Oh, sure. Allegedly. <laughs> she's going to sue you. <laughs> You're so I mean, it's good, it's just not like, ooh, yeah, it's perfect, you know? Yeah, I'm not into this. That's sad. Okay. It's very unfortunate. Maybe tomorrow I'll be into it. Yeah. I think maybe because I'm kind of satisfied with this. That's really what you wanted. Yeah. 
sausage in here, and then I'm gonna put all the sauces in the little bag. The other bug. Oh my god. You have your fork inside your dish? Yeah. Because okay. I can't close it with mine in, so yeah. I'm going back. That's why I put my cover in. Thinking ahead. All right, guys. That was good. We're going to go to Target. We got to get white chocolate chips for mom. And I don't know what else. Because she's in an Ulta haul, too. Oh, yeah. Ulta haul. Oh, yeah. Home, um, but actually speaking of that, I want to try out the, the chopstick now because my lips are dry and I never bring one for the lip balm. You want to just do it on this thing? Yeah, yeah do it. sure, yeah. All right, let's do an Ulta haul real quick. <laughs> I spent 300 bucks. Oh my God. Yeah. Bye. What? Yeah, honestly, this is why I want to do the haul because I'm trying to understand how we got to that point. Yeah, before, I know. Even before the haircut. But... In our defense, we haven't gone makeup shopping in like half a year, at least. Yeah. Oh, honestly, okay, now that I'm thinking, like we didn't really get uh, just makeup stuff. We got like the hair, we got hair stuff and oh, like skincare stuff, things that I actually. Yeah. yeah. So first thing we got was my haircut. <laughs> yes, that's gonna be in another video. So just so you can oh, see it. Oh, this is the same one. I don't know. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see. Maybe I'll, it's probably gonna be too long. So, we did some beach waves, got my hair cut, so, yep. Um, okay, so, Beekman. Beekman 1802, don't know what that means, but it's a brand, first time we've heard about probably it. probably the year that it was established. Really? Well, why oh. else would brands put the year? I would think, right? I don't know. 1802, 1800, really? Uh, I'm sure like the wheel was like invented in like the 1800s and uh, I, I have know. four of them on this car. <laughs> so we were asking for like skincare advice and stuff like that, especially for her because she was the one that was interested in it. So she introduced us to this. It's called Beckman. Beekman. Beekman. I don't know why it just doesn't focus. Do I not have it on the correct setting? Let's see. No. Okay. I don't know. So it's just You're really low now. <laughs> I move my face. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Yeah. So this is like a sampler case. It was like $60. We got two of them, one for each of us. But it's, apparently it's made with goat's milk. Um, this one has a, it's four travel size pieces skit of skincare. It has a hair clip. I can't even see it. Can you read it? Can yeah, it? so it's a dewy eyed eliminating eye serum, milk wash, exfoliating jelly cleanser, milk drop, pro probiotic, serum, ceramide serum, bloom cream, and then like a clip to prepare that. Yeah, so this is like their sampler box where you can try all of their different products and see if you like it or something like that. So we each got one of those. Oh yeah, I got pink hair dye, the Lime Prime Unicorn Hair and Bunny uh, because it's October and I don't know, I just put it on my hair too. <laughs> Why see. not? I've been brunette my whole life and now that I'm finally blonde, I'm trying to take yeah. advantage of that. True, true. Uh, uh, oh, it's just a mask though. And then we got this Star Kisser Jelly Lip Plumping Mask from Truly. True Beauty. I think it's called. Oh, true, true. Truly. Truly, yeah. Yeah, it's like so the, it's like uh, the gold glitter. And then that's just like the lip balm. Though. Lip butter. butter? Pineapple Haze lip butter from the same brand. She got this one too. Oh, interesting. So if you look at it, you think it'd be like moussey, but it's like. Ooh, it like reminds you of the Dole Whip. This one's worse too. Uh -huh. yeah, that's the problem. The Dole? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's like pieces of pineapple in it. 
Oh, we just got one of these. Yeah. Oh, it is interesting. Okay, and then I caught a couple of hair accessories. Um, some clips, because I have short hair now, so I figured I would try them for like little top knot buns or something like that, little things like that. We're really gonna look alike. <laughs> I can't even you start doing your hair with mine. Crap. They suckered me into opening a Ulta credit card for the 20% off. Yeah, you said we got the hair clip. <laughs> The yeah. Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer from First Aid Beauty. You have dry skin, it's pretty good. Oh, she also got the Witch Hazel Facial Toner from yeah. Thayer's. I got some like purple shampoo stuff from a blonde. And then the KKW Cream Contour and Highlight Set and Light. I also got a Macadamia Hair Mask. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was 300 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. But yep, that's we our. We don't normally do that. It's not normal. <laughs> it's more like we're just replenishing. And Trying because, out some new stuff. Because we haven't been out in like a while, even just to get like stuff. I know. We're all kind of like sheltered in place, so. And especially me and our family, we really don't go out because of my condition. So it is what it is. But, all right, I'm gonna end it here so we can get into Target and do our thing. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys soon.